on the internet radio, a program where you always hear me now. The people them just always hear with us. Pass in the streets and the word them sing you know. Say put on a pot, come make a chat, who grab a cheer and chase for us. Come make a chat, I own the fox, but I don't program like them not at you. Yeah, we tune in to come make a chat, sure. Run, just for us. I only the chat, I only the facts, no other program like them no art, yeah. Come on, go chat, come on, go chat, just come on, go chat. Come on, go chat. All right, people. Good morning. <laughs> Welcome to another Come on, go chat show. Me, there. In my front yard, obviously, because it's been a while since I actually came out here and been into my front yard or my backyard. The people them ask me all the while, say them salamoy. I always party at the Florida. Me say no, girl, no youth at Kingston, me live. <laughs> and I write something there. You don't know there's no other place to be than right here with me, Lamoy McLean, Panda Comic Chat Show. Right as a act, right as a nice. And if it not act, then no we not. You understand? So we come with the reality, we come with the facts. And this is what this program is all about. Some days are some wedding tips, some days are some little skits, you know, and we have a prep scene, a little educational stuff at the end of the day. More for me can announce that today's topic is all about education, right? And there are some pinpointers that I want to make in facts that I have drawn over the years in regards to education. So what may I go do? I just ask you for share the link here, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and any other social presence where you can find me pan like youtube and all of them something <laughs> yeah find me for all of them and come join me come up with chat right now me have to share with other people how surprised i was and me apologize for the passing vehicle and the little drop drop of rain because right now rain a fall and sing outside you understand what me i say but no watch no face we just a go on run the live same way when speaking i'm a bit passionate i try to get across my point as yeah as strong as i can and most of the time people just always just leave me alone and just say yeah you win you win girl all right you're done god i'm careful i'm gonna tell you about people in my environment people in my home you know they know that when i come across with a topic i come across really strong so education is a value where all I will learn, yeah? From where you and where I grew up, it has been instilling us that you go to school from a tender age. So back in the days, parents used to send them children to school from two years old. Nowadays, you know, minister come in with a different law and them say, the children have to now, the child have to now start go to school at age three. All right, nothing wrong with that. Parents have to work, maternity leave end at a certain point, money have to make, right? So you have to go back to work. So we normally send off the children them to preschool and in a preschool them start learning them like A, B, C and we teach them from home how to say them name and all them things there. I think I was on a work. We have got decorate one place and uh, we stand up with a group of men and you know, me said, one well, little boy, run, come. So me I say, where am I run from? You know, it's like him a Superman, him bolt out and look two times, and I said, nobody I run back him. And I said, then I would little boy, I run. So get him calm down and think and get for understand, say, him run out of the yard and me see the parent like, no, it, it wasn't him mother. It's like it was him auntie. So, me see the auntie now, I come out and walk, I said, where am there? Where am I there? Where am I run gone? It's a pity you about four, three, four year old. Me know say a pity for no for spell him name, you know. Don't get me wrong. The child should know how to spell his, his name. But for each his own. Remember, say, every pity learn different, you know. 
every child learn different. And because of that now, you have to implement different way of teaching different children. Now suppose a car did a come. That the little penny they get licked down in you know, because him run God straight in the car because him auntie a beat him for smell him name. You understand what I say? And me have the same kind of discussion with even my relatives them. Sometimes I catch up with all my family them too. Because you can beat them, yes, because some of the people them stubborn. Some of them know the thing, but them no want to say it. But you, if you realize that you teach a child a thing, and him not learning it, now is to take the next precautionary measures to ensure that the child learn it in a different way. When me I go to school and I do accounts, I never understand it. Well, in ninth grade, me I do accounts, I don't understand it. My mother said me go to school and every other class I understand. Every other class, me I go on with a little thing in her, except accounts. When I look into it now, the reason why I now pass accounts is because the teacher where I teach my accounts and understand not more accounts. It's like if it's a rum head. Him drink rum. I'm a good smell for him at the time, so it's like when him come and attack. I don't understand what he must say. Back in my topic where I come from. The value of education, as I say, feed it in our brain, manipulate the situation, tell we say, if you're not go to school, you're not get certain things out of your life. You have to go to school, you have to be a doctor, you have to be a nurse, you have to be a teacher, you know, you have to be something society when it comes to school. So them never tell us say you could have been anything else but them thing there. Them look for you now and them tell us that education is a key. But more the arts. Key for go away. Which door that the key are open. Because every day people look for me and say to me some why. The type of girl where you is, you know, you should have read somewhere in your life, you know, you have this and you have that and you have everything, you have your mind, you know, you're, you're smart, but you're still there to see me, you're still broke, you're still not have no house living on, you're still a try to make a life and a living for yourself. But one of the reasons for that is because them feeding on my mind from a longer time, say, you have to go to high school, you have to go to college, you have to do this and you have to do that. Don't get me wrong again, as I said, nothing is wrong with going to school. But if you have to go to school and them not going to teach you nothing else in a school, but for go to school and come work for people, make people business, go somewhere while you are slaving a people business every day. What kind of future you set for your generation as a parent? Enough time if enough our parents did, did left a legacy for we with the alright. You know, you don't want to hand me down now or nothing, you know, but I like a starter, you know? Not for a rich man them, them parents give them a little first push. The foreign people them them do the same thing too. It start from the mentality. From your young moving into a older stage. That's how it start from. Why you never tell him say could I be an artist? And nowadays we see school I implement some different ways of how the youths them. When them left school, how them can make a future for themselves, how them can start a business. If me did learn certain things when me know as an adult in a high school, me would have better off in a life. Because me know say, even though me have a good mindset, you know, good brains. They would have said you're bright. Even though you have good brain, you would have known, say, boy, illegal things them where you come out alive, you can turn to something else. 
When I look up at me, I used to see it in the street to come to school, come selling out. Morning, Teddy. We used to see people come to school with sweet to sell. And I wonder to myself, so listen up. I wonder if I don't have them mother not have nothing. I wonder if I don't have them father not have nothing. But them people that did have sense. Them did an entrepreneur. Need it free to buy the sweetie and come sell it. You understand? Need it free to buy the sweetie and come sell it at school because me I said the people them are going to laugh off for me. In a my home, from me grow up, I know my mother a sell. She was a little entrepreneur and a little hustler. You understand? She do her work and she have a little stall where she sell. That was PRT. But you don't know, I never saw something where she did carry out. So, as we get older, it never stay with we. It move on, but I, I assure you, if my mother did carry out businesses like them then, like she did full fled and left her business and said, why may I go into entrepreneurship? Bam! Our people then would have maybe turn entrepreneur too. Would I feel comfortable about downtown to sell as we are eagle? Talking about that, I remember one. <laughs> hey! I remember one time, one time my mother left me down at Auntie Marlene for one Saturday. And Auntie Marlene and me, they are Auntie Marlene, said, Go sell something, man. She, or me said, Me, I go sell something. I don't think she would have told me to go sell something. She would have said, Right. But me he said me I go sell something and me start walk with the skeleton to me at one time and you wanna hear me now. Skeleton time, skeleton time <laughs> Oh skeleton time and me I go on in all like like me in the back of my head now me I say you know the self consciousness that kick in like it I say um suppose one of your friend them pass you down yeah the ambition mind there to think bigger head more than where your friend them would have think never evolve until you know later on in a life you never reach the peak there in your life until later on you go to school all them years you know you go preschool you go primary and prep you go I R I S you go college or university. After that, you go work. Don't even talk about the amount of debt where you incur throughout the years then. Right? When you go throughout the years then when you go to school. Because if you we always think say a rich people pick me. Well, the multiple amount of people, the multitude of people, always think they are rich people pick me alone, got university. But I assure you people, from bungling round enough of them, I know from first hand that poor people pick me got university too. So you see some of them pick me there, them parents are finding money for put them in a school and some of them have got through student loan. You see a lot of people them will have student loan for pay back. Don't even talk about them that they were them need for pay back. When them start work, big PhD older. I, 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 that I biggest doctorate, that I biggest degree. Now work for years. Sit down at them yard. Have major multiple degree. After you spend so much years at go school because you spend one aga preschool, you spend three aga prep basic, you spend six aga prep or primary, you spend five aga high school, and you spend about five to six years ago through university or ten years, depending on how long you take for go school. You understand? So, if you can calculate with me, I don't not check the maths, but I realize there are enough years that they accumulate up in this. When you done got your school, 
for all of them the qualification the certificate and use them at your yard and not no for four years five years three years which priority that eh which priority that that works so people don't know some of the writers so you know <laughs> you know me yard and a bill I write us on the vibes there and things. With me, your host, Lamoy McLean, for the Comic Con Chat Show. And you know, so we're going to take another quick break. Coming right back again for Comic Chat. Be back. <laughs> People, so you don't know, so we just come back from the quick birthday. We end us, the people, them we end us. We say, so if we don't want to the jingles play, yeah, pan the comic with chat show, we don't just send it in to comic with chat at gmail.com. I don't just link my palm, link my palm, Facebook at comic with chat, same way for all media platform. I want to get me. Back into the educational talk. Where did your yard sit down for four years? Where you could have done your yard sit down at do for four years? With a PhD. So you spend all of the time there and go to school for nothing. You done PhD. You are 40 now. You either work. Anna, do PhD. You know, drive a car. You know, live in a house for yourself. You still have pay rent. You just know, say you're not better than the person we are work on the bus. The only thing is that the mind the more ambitious. A man did tell me a story one time where he said, A little boy say, Two men on a bus. And he say, A doctor and a lawyer. The lawyer take the bus. So it's like the lawyer said to the doctor, say, Hey, it's me you're talking to like that. You know I'm a lawyer. I'm a barrister. You know, you know what I do and how much money I make. And the bus driver says, listen up, the amount of money you make in a one month, and that will make in a day. Me not tell nobody to so quit them job and go be a doctor. <laughs> that, is, that is not the aim. <laughs> the aim is that me I say, if you have yourself in an educational field, Try to spread your wings a little bit more outside the box. Think big. And as my friend say, push. Pray until something happens. <laughs> so just push. You understand? That me I tell you no sound you need for do. Nobody sit down over your son and just because you have your teaching career. You're afraid to carry like a ice cream go to school and sell it to the pit of them. You're a doctor. You're afraid to carry like a snacks or like a sitting in the hospital because you know say your fellow nurse them are hungry. And sometimes it's hard for your left and go to a canteen or go downstairs for go buy something to eat. But if somebody has something nearby a cell. You can't just buy that and munch on it and all of the nurse them, the patients them too because everybody did have salt or sugar. Some people have some different problems so they can't eat a little one snack. Learn to be industrious. Entrepreneurs. And self-confident. Enough to do certain things, to take certain risks in your life. Go out there and spread your wings. Do what you have to do. For make ends meet. In a make no sense. You only at a, a go to school. School alone now cut it. When you're done with school, school mash you up. 
And I can tell you because you're living proof of it. My mother used to say every day you put on your clothes and gone. Hey, like a idiot. Every day you put on your clothes and gone. But because I knew I had other ultimatum. I did what I had to do. You have to endure. You have to sip salt through wooden spoon. So if it's not that you can't jump, you understand? But creep first, walk later. I better put too much in our education. Try to put aside a little money out of your pay. If you are work, carry something, go to school, go sell it. Make them look for you as the first way ever also. Nothing wrong with that. You are also for put your way through school. You are also for make your youth them get food to eat. Wouldn't that make sense? You all a certain standard that you have that to say boy and this because I saw them stay you know when them qualifications up there you know you know <laughs> because they ramp to put it out there you hear me I say them the ramp to put it out there so they make it be known that listen up I have a bachelorette I have a degree I have a PhD But what else do you have? Do you own a house for yourself? Do you drive a car? You did buy a piece of land in a country? Yeah. Your family them alright? You put them university tuition save already for the next 15 years? You can't talk to me. Me, a go getter. You can't talk to me. Me na ask Christ. You hear me say? Me nah ask Christ, you can't talk to me. I got left up on the valley there. And you don't know, say, yes, I will come and talk about the hot topics. Discuss any matters where in the streets, any matters were pressing. Uh, every week I come in with my program. If people them cuss and say, boy, I'm not giving them a big up. But, you see, if I have a big up, people me and go a big up a whole heap of people <laughs> but me are gonna make some special big up you understand and me are gonna express them big up here yeah. first me want big up the brother upon facebook where ever press me for make a move when it comes to my career. I don't remember him last name, but I think him first name is Philip. Philip F. His last name is Phil. I want to big up that brother there who believe in me 100%. He don't know me from nowhere. But you just have a vibes towards the program and him feel my energy from far away. I never even take the time out for asking me if I'm there Jamaica, America, Canada, Cayman, England. I don't ask him none of them things there. The man just ever there for my thing. When time him not say nothing, they all, all want one day, impress me and say, what go on? Where the video them there? I don't hear nothing that come. I said, worry yourself, I work me, I work man. And you don't know me, I have my whole heap of different jobs them for do. So, sometimes I just have to just go and mix it in with a little of a conversation them same way. Yes, one big up Red Man, my number one fan. Yeah, one big up Red Man. Yes, I remember if you remember Red Man, Red Man are the one one time, me, my boyfriend left me on my birthday. Yeah, that was Red Man. The, the youth the player, the vice there. Eh? A him, a red man. So I want to big up red man. I never big up red man from that one day now. I tell you, say, my man left me for my birthday. Shot. Yeah. I want 
I'm going to want to tell you I go up on my Facebook the other day and open up a message. I get so excited. Yeah. I want to share this same time, people. My set is a youth from out of Gambia. I want to bless up screw face. Remember, remember come to chat show and feel like say him for just put in family for peace. You understand? Spread the love screw face. You don't know, say, Lama, you have enough love face. So just go and spread the love through Gambia for me. You see me? Just big up yourself for that one day. Next person I want big up and my the whole inspirational talk. You have to have a team of people that they will give you ideas and help you out the settings and make the program better. Dave has always been there from day one, the marketing expert. You know him, girl. You know him, girls, 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 all over the world, y'all know him. So, I want to thank all of them people there. I want to thank my friends them who will follow my page. I want to thank my fans them, whatever they're with me. I want to thank all the people them women and know who follow my page. You understand? Because I don't know, don't know say, I'm growing things like growing pains. Right, so with Lamoy McLean and upon the comic book chat show, I want to know some of produce one show up on Roots FM. It's called the Max Club. Tune in to it every Thursday, Roots 96 FM.1 with Brian, the Magic Man, and Damien, Cryptic. <laughs> yeah, and me producing. It's a whole math team coming out. Just come and support. Ensure say your radio dial into nothing but Roots FM on Thursday at 6 7 pm. <laughs> Love or no, peace out. See you next time on the Comic with Chat Show. And we know so we'll soon come back for chat with the bag of things. Bye. <laughs>